So in this video, we're going to check out the sense from Deluge. We're just going to look into how this can automate MIDI CC. So currently I have the MIDI out going into my Roland Boutique JU06. And I have a bunch of patterns here. So I'm going to enter into the first one. Let's press play. Okay, so we have a pattern here. There's no modulation happening. So let's enter in a clip view. Now what we see here is the automation overview. So these are all the CCs. So we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to turn the knob here. And what I did was I had to write a list of the different CCs that operate different parameters. So let's go to CC74 on the Roland Boutique JU06. That's the cutoff of the filter. What I'm going to do is illustrate, actually, there is no interpolation option for this mode. So in other words, if I draw this, we're actually going to hear the steps. So you can hear that pretty clearly. So we can hear the steps very clearly right there. We can see the numbers. So if I zoom in, let's go in to 16th notes. I'm just going to draw from here to here. Now let's press play. So there's less stepping when I draw it from here. It adds a little bit of resolution. And that helps a little bit. I can even go closer. So I can zoom in further, but 16th is probably a good balance if you wanted more smoother sounds. So let's clear. Let's press left right now, press back. And we can turn it down a little. What I want it to do is kind of change from here to here. Just slightly vary it. You can also zoom in here. Let's like draw this in. So you can really mold things to whatever you want. So that sounds nice, but let's change it up a little. So I'm going to go down to resonance, which is 71 cc on that synth. So I'm going to press play. Now let's mold that. So I'm just going to zoom out and just play around with this value, see what it sounds like. We can hear it. So that's the resonance. Again, we hear the stepping, so I'm just going to zoom in a little, see how that sounds. We do more subtle movements. Now if we wanted to make it smooth, we still can record in the knob motions. So I can just turn smoothly and then it'll replicate that. But when we draw it, it does not currently interpolate. So drawing it, we can hear the stepping. So let's go down to CC14. Now in this synth, that changes the PWM level or the pulse width. So let's see what it sounds like. Oh, so that changes the sound pretty nice. I want to go back to CC74, so let's press Effect Entire. We can see it right here. There we are. We're back in here, the cutoff. So I think I want to just change these values a little. Just so it's more smoother, not really going too many places, not too intense. Zoom in a little bit. Let me make two here. So I'm just drawing in little changes here. Go down here, and we can skip up to CC18. That changes the sub level. So there's a sub oscillator, and I can change the value of it coming in. You can hear it. Let me maximize it here. Now, all sorts of different synths have different CCs. You have to look it up in the manual what number does what. You might want to write down your own notes. Currently, we just have to look it up and then change to that number and then just change it. And then we can see what we had entered in on the white pads here. Let's switch to the next pattern. Just 
brought up an octave. Now let's go into 74, which again is the cutoff. So let's change it up here. values when we skipped this clip press clip let's start off with 74 and the cutoff Start from the top here. So now that we automated CC, let's actually copy this over. Now this is the line in oscillator. To set it up, watch the last episode. We're going to trigger this new one. We're going to jump into it. Now we're going to make it longer first thing. So shift left right knob. So that's two bars, four. Let's go eight bars. So let's make the go a little slower. Now what we're going to do is we're going to mess around with the tones on the line in oscillator. So let's play with that a little bit. So let's just make it kind of fade out. Okay, so it's fading slightly. I'm going to jump in. Let's put two little ones here. A little more. So we're just molding this a little bit. Just give it a little bit of character. Resonance. We'll just bring it up a little bit here. So let's uh, let's play with some reverb. Let's just add a little bit in here. Make it fade in a little. Now here's a fun part: delay amount. So. 
I'm gonna do is jump in, zoom in a little. We're gonna go to 16th notes. We have eight screens to play with, so let's just play a little bit with this. We're just drawing in different delays. We're not gonna hear much of it because we have to change the rate still. I'm just adding it in just to see what happens here. Now delay rate and zoom out.